Well, hello friends, I am Dragonade, and welcome to The Darkest Woods. I received this game for free. The developer sent me an email out of the blue, and with a key and all that, so let's check it out and see what this game is all about. You wake up among the trees. There's blood on your head, but you can't find a wound. You're trying to understand what's happened, but your mind responds with silence. You see your bag on the ground. You grab it. It's empty. Not surprising. You're sure that it will come in handy. Alright, uh, what's this? Ah, continue save hint to main menu. No, we're, we're not gonna... You look around and see two paths that lead to different directions. Hmm, so we can go forth, go right, or go left. Well, if I'm in the woods, I'm gonna get lost very easily. That's all I know. <clears throat> so we go to the... You see a tiny wooden shed on a hill. It doesn't look like anyone lives there, but you can clearly hear a crying baby. Ooh, let's go into the shed. Might as well. Let's see what... Hi! How's it going? You notice a pale, thin woman standing in the corner. It looks like she hasn't noticed you yet. Beside her, you see a pram. You can hear crying coming from it. There's crying coming from the pram. You see a rustic crucifix. You can't locate the source of the sound. The pale woman disappeared. You hear heard her footsteps. Oh my god, I hate this. Oh. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay. Maybe I should have clicked on the woman? I don't know. Are there different... <gasps> <sighs> Paths. You can take. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Let's try this again. This... Well, clicking on her just makes her freak out and then you die. <laughs> so not too much difference there. Let's try going left instead this time. You see an overgrown glade, you notice an old well in the middle of it. Who might use it? Random person? I don't know. This looks like, oh my god, it's got two locks. Uh, is it one, two, three, four? No? Okay, that's fine. A damp scent is coming from the well. The water is dark and stale. It would not be wise to drink it. Oh, what the heck? A pale arm searched from the water. You can see a key in his palm, but you can't reach it with bare hands. I'm trying to reach a key too far away. You. I should mention as well that I do have a couple of keys for you guys. There's one for, I believe, the i the, the App Store, and one for Android. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna just ignore that. Can I click anywhere else? Um, so those will be put somewhere random throughout the video. First come, first serve. Enjoy the uh, treasure hunt there. Alright, let's try going forth this time. Hello! Um... On the other side of the pass, you see a dark man. He's shaking. Maybe it's just an optical illusion, but it looks like he has no hands. Well, I'm gonna take this baby mutilated doll. What kind of woman... What kind of man would a kid doing such things to toys grow up into? Well, let's, let's try clicking on him. I'm probably gonna die by doing this, but uh... You're trying to run, but some invisible force is holding you. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wonder if I can run from the woman after I click on her. Oh, wait, no, that, that's, that's... Okay, well, I'm gonna try... This doesn't seem to fit there. Alright, well, if I go into here, take this, then put the doll... You hear an eerie laugh, expecting the worst, you understand that nothing at all has happened. Pale woman disappeared, you hear her footsteps. Okay, well now the baby's in there though, am I still gonna die when I leave? No, the woman left, but you can still sense her presence. Yeah, I got uh, shivers down my spine now, thank you very much. Terribly cold here, better find a shelter for the night. Uh, damp scent, you better be careful. Wait a second. Okay, I, I think I understand. I have to use this on you, right? You take out the crucifix. 
At the very moment, Dark Man starts to tremble, he literally turns into a cloud of black smoke and flies away. You're frightened now, the path is clear. Sure. Go forth. The path leads to an old mansion with doors shut and windows boarded up. You thought that you saw movement in one of its windows. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. It seems like someone wanted to isolate this house from the world. Yeah, I cannot imagine why. Lovely. Lovely. You see the basement entrance, which is secure with a massive lock. Someone wrote a greeting on the wall. The gas lamp is lit. You wonder by whom. So I do not have a key. That's probably what the key in the will is for. Oh, I can just take that. Grab the rope. Slips into your hands easily. It looks like it's been here for a very long time. Well, as long as it doesn't get used. Ooh. The body smells rotten. You can't stand anymore. You've got to move on. You barely pull out the hook from the body. It's too rusty to be a self-defense weapon, but may come in handy. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I feel like I'm going to die now. Uh, try to open the doors. but it's tightly boarded up. No way you can enter here. Well, I'm going to go back to the glade. I'm gonna, I think I... I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to use this to grab that. Rope can reach a key, but you can't hook it. There you go. Pick up the key. Arm slowly drowns. Your skin is crawling. Yuck. Thank you. Dark man's gone. Path is clear now. Go to the right. Key on here. <coughs> Let's see what's inside. Why? Why do I play these games? You see silhouette. There's a period at the end of the path. What do you think you see before? It's the dark man. He's coming at you. Uh, no. Uh. Take out the old crucifix and hit the dark man with it. Success, he screams in agony and slowly disappears. What was that thing? Okay. Well, that's the time thing. Woods, family, and we are always open. Wonder why the kid is there, but not anyone. The kid's face is seen, but not anyone else. This family photo looks like this house some kind of hotel. The faces seem to be smudged except for one. A boy. It looks familiar. Is it the man? I have nothing in my items now. No obstacles. Path is clear. October 3rd, 1955. A week has passed since Mr. Woods hired me as a janitor. Woods Inn is located in the forest far away from the city, and this is just perfect. Mr. Woods is a great lad. He allows me to keep my hat on at home and doesn't ask me any questions. It's weird that he hired me, especially after I insisted to keep my hat on. What does that sound? Mind quieting down over there? Shut up. Oh, I hear squeaking noises now, too. Um, he doesn't ask much about my past. He believed in me. Wish there were more good people like him. Got Jared's closet, my private room. It's pretty cozy. Woods in can't fit many visitors, so there's no reason for me to complain. Finally, I'm safe. They won't find me here. Emerge from the darkness to Pivot Hall, as you thought. The door is barricaded from the inside. Someone left a hat on the rack. Can I take the hat on the rack? Look right. In the corner eye, you see a figure rushing upstairs. You can't tell if it's a human being. You feel uncomfortable. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and yes. Okay. Stairs leads to the second floor. You see a reception table, phone on it. Table's oddly clean. Ah, Woods in stairs door. Oh, 101 is, Mr. is reception. 205 is Mr. Woods. Case of emergency, call 911. And 911 is not going to work. I can tell you that immediately now. You were not supposed to go upstairs. No, 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 no. You get your butt back down those stairs. You're not going up there yet. Not yet. There's nothing you should have done. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. Goodbye. I can't understand what that says anyway. <laughs> Okay, 205 is Mr. Woods. Well, I can also call 201, 202, and 203. So I might as well try it. Hello? Hello, what? Okay. 202? Now 
I know what? Excuse me, hello? No? Oh, that guy hung up. 203? Okay, well, apparently nothing's happening there. Hmm. Oh, cool, I can take the broom. Uh, what? Oh. May 5th, 1957. Today is a big day, birthday of little Rosie. Mrs. Woods gave birth to her first child. Labor lasted four days. I was running up and down the stairs holding a bowl of hot water for two days. Mr. Woods decided to handle the delivery all by himself. That's strange because he doesn't have a medical degree. It's finally happened at his office this night. There was a horrible storm outside, so the lights went out. Probably because of shock, I thought that the eyes of the newborn were solid red and had no pupils. I hope that the mock scream that I heard that night was just my imagination. After the baby was born, Mr. Woods gra grabbed her and threw me out of his office. I went to my room. That night, I had a horrible dream. Well, that doesn't sound like a fun time. Strange notes. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Huh. Well, now I have broom as well, so I don't know what that's going to be used for, but... Let's go into the bathroom and find out um, what I can do. Well, at least he has water. It looks cloudy. It's not the best idea to drink it. All right, well, let's turn that off. Small bathroom, wall is damaged. You can see a facade. Sm smell is horrible on here. You cover your nose to avoid it. Okay, can't open that thing. Yeah, there's one hidden in the top. What the heck? Yes, I did him. Seems that this bizarre sign is engraved with some kind of soot. Wonder why it's here. I cannot possibly imagine. Oh, hi. What? At least that's running water. It works fine. <laughs> Can I use this on this? Doesn't seem to fit here. No? Okay. That's fine. Dining room? Door's locked. Okay, so dining room works. Telescope? Lens is broken. It's of no use. This room is of no use. Ordinary dining room, table empty, something dripping from the ceiling. Where? What? That? Take off this. Trying to reach the ceiling, but it's too high, maybe with something. Ah, a broom? Hit the thing with broom. Crap became wider. Peek into the hole. You feel like someone's looking at you. Yeah, um. Oh, rotten smell starts to spray. You don't want to be here. Man's head was cut off. What's happening in this accursed house? It's dangerous to be here. You don't say. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna completely ignore everything that's happening in there, I guess. Totally fine. Hey, janitor's room's locked. Uh, let's try 201. Old tape. Looks like it was recorded right here. Modern tape recorder can play back records. Doesn't seem to have wires or batteries, but a light indicates that it's on. Replica of Hieronymus's Bosch. Cry, but Hieronymus Bosch's Christ crowned with thorns is hanging crookedly. It would be better to fix it. Touch the frame of the picture falls down. You see an old safe. Lovely. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, what's this? Scalpel. Rusty but still sharp. Delightful. Gonna need that. Bizarre sign engraved with some kind of soot. Wonder why it's here. Interesting. So we have a cross. Then we have a double cross infinity. I don't know. A week passed since my arrival. This place is just a treasure for paranormal activity research. I asked for a room that once were used by a crazy woman with a child. She was in a newspaper. This place carries a unique atmosphere. We've made a good friendship with Mary Woods. Miss Woods should probably pay more attention. I brought my telescope with me and we often Observe stars in the night with Mary. Mr. Woods doesn't appreciate this and locks the dining room every night. But we have a spare key. We usually hide it in a toilet bank. Okay. So I guess I probably should have come in here first. Uh, I feel like going... Oh, quiet quarter here. Mouse squeak. You have to move on. Okay. Sure. I'll move on. Um... Corti Oh, I can't use my actual keyboard for that. Oh, hi. Oh, that's, that's, oh. Space room, you know, it's a terrifying picture on the wall. Something's flickering under the bed. You can't shake off the feeling of being watched. Room getting colder. Something has changed. 
lights went out because of the thunderstorm? No, it's probably not. But I don't like this anymore, that's all I know. Um, Ooh. Ah! Why would you do such a thing to me? Is it because I stayed in there too long? Or was I just not supposed to have gone in there? Hmm, note to stay away, not the best thing to fight in a cold dark forest. No, probably not. Just a bad idea for me to stand here? Probably. Oh. Do I not have the notes anymore? Whoa, wait a second. The notes aren't there anymore. Oh, you're supposed to... Hmm. Fun times. Where's that gonna go? Is that gonna go here or the thing downstairs? I'm gonna guess the thing downstairs. This. Yep. Oh look, another tape. Okay. Well, I don't want to go into the room. Try to pick up the lightning strike scares you. Oh. Well, that was quite unfortunate. I was confused. I didn't realize there was a flipping save feature. So now I've been safe. Clicking the save button. Hello. How's it going, sir? Get stabbed with this. Oh, this time I actually have to click on everything. Weird. Okay, go downstairs. So I don't want to enter the, that one. Oh, I can't leave. Odd, I actually can't leave right now. I thought I could go back to that trunk in the in the glade by the by the well there, but no. Okay, so I've just saved now. Let's see what happens. Going in here, doll is there again. Yes, it's a dream. I see horrible dreams. Can't really describe them. 202 is being occupied by an Englishman, Nigel Weld. He's a chemist. Traveled in round the world, learning things. Woods asked him to derive a formula that he never seen before. An accident happened during the experiment and Nigel's face got all messed up. He felt into depression, and after Woods made a portrait of him, totally lost his mind. Sitting hmm. in his room, moaning only one word. Handsome. After some time, he locked himself into O2. The only way to reach him was to use the phone. Well, he said, now you know. So did I call him preemptively then? I called him preemptively, which is why it it he came up saying, now you know. So that was a scripted thing, but I don't think I was supposed to see that right away. Well, obviously I'm supposed to be in here. Is that thing again. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Whoa. Oh, and the code 2780. Okay, so that's what I didn't do before. Ah. That's what it was. Interesting. Let's go back into here. Doll is gone. This is 2380, right? Two, three, eight, zero. Okay. <coughs> so that obviously goes to the janitor's closet, but let's not go there quite yet. Silent rain behind the window, you think taking a nap, but you're afraid it would be your last. Most likely, yes. Let's save quickly. Put the thing into the thing. <clears throat> oh, this is Paxton, the janitor. Mr. Woods know about your relationship with Mary Norman. Something bad is going to happen soon. I know that you love Mary, and that's why I will ask you to take her and the kids and run away. Woods is in anger. He locked to Mary into all three. I will hide. 
So is that the, uh, um, th thing in the glade by the, by the well? Uh, no, it does not. Let's use this. Picture of a naked woman, some kind of beast. She's attractive. A tiny room looks like it's not illuminated. You feel someone's presence like someone is going to touch your shoulder. Delightful. Thank you very much. Woods, I'm sorry. I don't like this. Oh my god. Okay, 1958. Miss Woods is pregnant again. Mr. Woods is being anxious. Uh, it must be because of the new visitor, a tall, bright man from the south called Norman. He's arrived two months ago. I like him. He lives a dollar for me every time I clean his room. He's searching for paranormal activities here. Our hotel is kind of known for it. Norman became a good friend of Miss Mary Woods. They walk in the woods together and lock themselves in room 201, listening to Norman's tapes. He owns a portable recorder. He allows me to listen to Frank Sinatra sometimes. Yesterday evening, I met him in the corridor. He was walking out of Mr. Wood's office. I saw fear in his eyes, and he was shaking like a rabbit. I tried to talk to him, but he whispered, Get away from here! Save your soul! And rushed through the main entrance into the night. Today, Mr. Woods told me to throw away all this stuff from 201, but I persuaded him to wait until the next guest comes. I hope Norman comes back. Uh, there's another symbol over there. Okay, so codes in the notes, then. So, lobby, uh, first floor, hat, uh, weird, second floor, uh, hat, strange, so, 310, 1955, well, let's, I mean, oh, you're too far, okay, so we can actually listen to those again, well, let's take a look at this, then, oh, oh, god, Okay, well, I don't know what that was now. Um, I've been looking through here. The hint here says, oh, my shoulders now. I have shivers down my spine. Uh, three locks are on the cas- There are three locks on the casket, believe us there are. You must have found three notes by now. The rest is to compare the digits. And I'm a little confused here because I don't understand what I need to do with the, with the digits. Like, I, I've tried three- one zero oh, and then five because all of these are one nine five to start with, uh, so that definitely doesn't work. The guy said he would f he he would hi he, that you would find clues in his notes, so I don't think it would make sense like where the notes were found. But, like, I can't find anything in here. The only thing I see in here is a week, which would be seven. Everything else, like, nothing else in here has numbers. So, but I've even tried, like, 3107, 3175. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. Oh. Oh, you know what I just thought of? I don't want to do this. <gasps> oh, turn the flashlight on. I realized it was just some broken pipes. <sighs> okay. Well, the, the hooray from me. Oh, there's another tape. Hi. I'm not surprised. A new guest arrived yesterday. He was tired and promised to pay off to have plenty of sleep. I woke up in the middle of night because of the noise that was coming from the corridor. Mr. Woods was beating the shit out of the new guest. It's turned that the guest was just a chunky. He stole a Medicaid key in order to find some stuff there. I suggested to call the cops, but Wood said that there's no need to. He grabbed the guy and threw him into a dining room, then entered himself and locked the door. The next morning there was no sign of a guy nor the Medicaid key. I still wonder where it might be. Well, that one's an old note, o old thing. I've already found that one. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm a little bit stuck with this now. I cannot figure out what to do. Uh, the notes are not making sense to me, so maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's probably just plain as day, and I'm completely missing it. But um, that is it for now. If you guys have any ideas of, the, uh, of what the codes might be or what I could do with the notes, uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, maybe I can play this again and see. Um... What happens next? As you can tell by my reaction to everything that is happening here, 
it is an extremely terrifying thing because of the atmosphere, mainly because of the atmosphere. That, that's it. The jump scares, you know, add to that a little bit as well. And you know me, I don't like the jump scares. But that's it for now. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you had fun. Thank you, developer, for giving me this game. It is definitely quite fun. A little confusing, a little difficult to figure out the puzzle here, but uh, that's probably part of the challenge. So I'm not going to say that that's a necessarily a bad thing. Just a little unclear. Definitely a challenge. Either way, see you. Bye-bye. God bless.